guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is a look at what I have been loving in March so my March favourites I've got a combination of different types of products so beauty and food and lifestyle so I will just dive straight in and I'm going to firstly show you a book that I have rediscovered and that I have been loving so this is the Demi Lovato Staying Strong 365 Days a Year book and I forgot I had this. I have it on my bookshelf, but I seem to forget what I have on there, so I need to kind of keep diving in and remembering. <laughs> um, but this book is basically every single day you pick it up and you read the quote, and then she has written a piece about that quote and what it means to her and what it can mean to you. Um, so let me have a look at today's. So today's is Why Fit In When You're Born to Stand Out? Embrace all your eccentricities. We aren't made to blend in, we are all individuals. Sometimes we think we are supposed to hide our differences, but we shouldn't. It can be scary trying to figure out who you are and what your purpose is in life, but it's important to find the answer so you can accept and be who you really are. So your goal is don't hide from yourself. Let the world know who you really are and be proud of it. I absolutely loved this book when I first got it and I forgot all about it so I'm really pleased I rediscovered that and I've been trying to kind of focus on self-care particularly this month um like I've missed quite a few videos I've just been struggling so I'm just trying to like find kind of my calm again and try and be healthy happy and all of that jazz so I'm really happy I've rediscovered her book and um yeah I'm gonna be keeping keeping this book close to me and reading it every day and trying to kind of digest each quote and keep strong keep going but yeah love this book so i highly recommend that then another thing that i've been loving in march is this now i really want to start changing the way that i am living by having less plastic and just trying to make changes to benefit our planet so one of my really good friends he is amazing at um wanting to save the planet and he's trying to make loads of changes and supporting various charities and stuff he's super super kind of passionate about it and um so he keeps sharing all these different things on facebook and loads of videos about plastic and what it can do and honestly i don't i think i was just really naive and like dumb to it all i just did not have a clue um but since all of that and looking at everything and kind of asking questions and stuff i've just started to make some changes so this is a bamboo coffee cup and i use this every single day even at home i just find this is so so much better when you've got children because um, a they're not going to burn themselves on the cup not going to put their hands in and um, yeah I just I just think I just find it easier to make sure I can drink my coffee or my cup of tea when I'm around them as well with this and this is what I also use um, around and about in the car for work so just really love this and you can go into Costa or Starbucks or wherever you want to go whatever coffee shop and they will use this cup instead of one of theirs so yeah and this bit isn't rubber either uh, it's a plastic either it's like a rubber so I just you know I don't know I'm just trying to make little changes if there's anything else you guys can think of that I can do because I'm getting rid of cling film as well I want to use the beeswax paper um, I want to try eco bricking um, if you guys want me to do a video about all the changes I'm going to make and maybe showing some of them then let me know because I'm kind of becoming quite passionate about this now so um, yeah I'm going to give eco bricking a go as well which is my friend's trying to he's going to show me how to do it let's hope I learn it really well but um, yeah so this, is, this was from Tesco's and they had various different prints so yeah that then some, um, let's go on to the foodie bit that I've got. Oh my gosh, I just want to eat it now. So this is the Ferrero eggs. So you get 10 eggs in each pack. Ferrero Rocher, Nutella, I just absolutely love. Ferrero anyway, I love. Um, I'm trying to say it <laughs> without going all the time on you guys. But um, yeah, so this, uh, I don't I think this must just be for Easter, but these are so Moorish, it's unreal. And I could sit and eat a whole bag in one sitting, it's ridiculous. Ridiculous. But yeah, I've got two left and they're tempting me, so I think I'm going to have those when I finish filming. Um, but yeah, these are so Moorish. If you love Nutella, you're going to love these. It's like a praline -y. Oh, it's just lush. It's amazing. So yeah, definitely grab a bag of those. I think I'm preferring these over the um, Cadbury's little mini eggs, which I absolutely love. I actually think I prefer these now. I just never thought I'd say that, but I do. <sighs> Sorry, mini eggs. Uh, another lifestyle product 
is a minky. I finally got hold, well, I didn't get hold of it. My friend did, she gave it to me. And I was literally looked at it and I was like, oh my God, and I've now got a minky. And do you know what? I had the B&M ones. The difference, there is a difference, and I hate to say it, but there really is a difference, and this is just amazing. Now, it is a bit battered and bruised because I've been using it all the time, but um, oh my god, I love it. So it just it's just I don't know, I think it's just a bit thicker and it absorbs a bit better than the ones I got from BM, but it's got like a rough side here and then like a soft kind of bit here that um it's really good for kind of finishing off a work surface if that makes any sense so this is good for kind of getting any like grubby bits off and dirt and stuff and this is good for like finishing that off <laughs> I don't know if I'm making any sense but like for example my taps and stuff if I just smooth that over it just makes it shiny instantly and no water stains so yeah I just love Minky um the brand anyway and these are amazing so yeah definitely highly recommend those and the last Lysol product I'm going to show you is this and this is a um Home Bargains Reed Diffuser in Peony I think it is it doesn't say it there I'm sure it's Peony oh my I absolutely love this this smell is amazing and I've had this for the majority of March now this was in uh, my home bargains haul at the beginning of the month and um yeah the smell is amazing and it just fills my room and it was only like 2 dollars I definitely would go back and get another one but I absolutely love this I definitely recommend you guys get some of these they're really good my son's already attacked the reeds and lost a couple of them but um yeah really really like that so it smells lovely then on to the beauty bits so i have purchased this so weaver graphic brows um pencil and this is in what color is this i think it's um what color is it oh, it doesn't say but it's a waterproof and smudge proof eyebrow la brow liner. It doesn't seem to say the, the shade, but it's like a dark brown that I am anyway. And um, I was in love with the MAC one, but that's like £15. I'm just not going to be paying that every single six weeks, whatever it is. So I thought I'd try this one. I think this was about £6. This is really good, guys. I've got it on now, and I've had this on since about half past five this morning. And honestly, and what time is it now? It's 25 past eight. And oh my god, I really love it. So I just literally use this bristly part of the end just to kind of comb through my... Um, eyebrows and then there's like a real soft pencil at this end and I just like work work it through my brows and working up and then just across and then down and it just it just gives a real lovely natural look that's what I always want is a natural look and it says it's waterproof and smudge proof I don't think it's smudge proof but it's definitely waterproof if I say yeah it is because I've had a shower with this in um but yeah no I definitely recommend this if you're looking for a an affordable eyebrow pencil it's really good so yeah love that then I have been loving which I've got on right now is this elf matte lip color in Praline oh my word wow I love this and this is literally a quick smudge some colour on my lips and go. This is amazing if you're a real busy individual who just hasn't really got much time to faff around with an eyeliner, uh, eyeliner, lip pencil and all that jazz. This is really, really good. It's super soft and easy to apply. It's like a, well you can see it on my lips, um, it's like a brownie kind of shade, very 90s, very Kylie Jenner and it doesn't last all day, you do have to reapply it, but it just feels soft on the lips though, it's a matte colour, it's not drying. So yeah, I really, really like this, I think it's a really, really good um, good lip pencil and a lip product. And this was, I think again, about £6, not expensive at all, so yeah, I really like this. I forgot about Elf to be honest, until I watched a Jeffree Star video and he was talking all about Elf and he had one of these and I was like, oh, I'm going to try it if it's Jeffree Star approved, I'm there. Then another lip product is this by MAC. This is my Girl About Town um, an Amplified Finish Lipstick. Now, as you can see, I love this. This is how sad I feel about this right now. I love Girl About Town, and when the weather gets nicer, which it has done recently in the UK, I pop on a bright colour, and I forgot how much I loved this. This is definitely one of my favourite lip shades of MAC. Um, and yeah it's one that you do have to reapply there's an amplified finish so it's not going to last all day but the color is really intense and it's just a real lovely pop and i think that teamed with like a bright neon 
like I don't know ensemble or like a white cheesecloth maxi dress would look really lovely so yeah absolutely love this especially with a tan when you've got your highlighter on and it's like some gold eyeshadow it's really nice so I'll swatch it for you now so you can see but that's it there it's got like a blue tone to it which I always prefer with my lipsticks but yeah absolutely love it and um yeah I do love a matte lipstick and then the last product I'm going to talk about is this body shop um almond milk and honey body butter I forgot how much I love body shop body butters I had this for my birthday and I have not stopped using it it smells divine oh my god it's like fresh but like a sweet like cottony smell to it I really really like it it's super moisturizing it's really good to just pop in your handbag it's a real good handy size and um, I also have the hand cream for it as well which I also love but the body butters just I don't know I just absolutely love them and I forgot how much I love them until I started using this so yeah I really really have been loving that too hope you guys are all really well and you enjoyed my March favorites please let me know what you've been loving as well in the month of March I always love to know and I love to know what you recommend hope you're all well make sure you don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all soon bye